Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. And welcome to another edition of my Make It Monday, where each Monday I come on live and share with you some projects that I'm working on, things that have been inspiring me, in hopes that it would inspire you to do something creative this week. And uh, happy Easter. Hope you had a great Easter weekend. Um, tummies full, eggs found for those little kiddos. Um, anyway, so welcome, whether you're watching this live with me right now or whether you're watching this on replay, um, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and just say hi. So I know that you're here and uh, it just warms my heart that, you know, you said hi. Okay. Anyway, so today um, I am going to be sharing with you um, another I think they call it a, a, a split card, a shutter card, but you know the cards that has been all the rage right now, right? So I shared this particular um, shutter card, or what do you call it, a, a split card, a few weeks ago, I believe, and uh, and I'm, I'm still seeing them pop up everywhere on the internet. It's just a very popular, very easy to make card and uh, in case you want to try your hand at making this card well guess what this is one of the cards that you will be making in my class this sunday afternoon so i am actually i'm having a class this sunday there's still space available so if you have um if you would like to take two hours off and have a little creativity escape therapy, um, come join me. The class is $20 and you'll be making three cards. So in addition to this card, you'll also be making this and also this, okay? All of these um, are from the Tropical Leaf Bundle, which comes in a stamp set as well as a punch. This is part of their um, the Stamping Up's exclusive online um, offering. And uh, as someone that lives in the tropics, I just love this. So anyway, so this these are the three cards you will make this Sunday. And there's still room. So please join me and message me um, if you're interested. Okay? Hi, Lynn. How are you? Glad you can jump on. Anyway, so as I said, these cards are very popular. And look, one of my team members, Becky, made me this Easter card. So I love it. Anyway, so yeah, so they're everywhere. And if you're itching to learn how to make that, we will make it this Sunday. So anyway, so those are kind of popular right now. So another kind of similar vein of card is this one. Can you see? There you go. This is a basket weave kind of a card. Really cute. And, uh, well, definitely not a quick and easy card, but it is pretty simple to make. And as you know, if you've been following me, I've been making little um, Easter baskets. You see that? Yep. And it's sort of got me into the weaving um, mode. So this card is a weaving kind of a card, and I'm going to show you how to make this card today. All right. So without further ado, let me switch the camera around and let's get started. Oops, where is the, there we go. All right. Of course, I have to remind you all that the last chance product listing is out, which means that the new annual catalog will be out soon. And um, things are flying off the shelf. There are products up to 60% off, so you don't want to miss this opportunity to get something on sale. And also to uh, pick up some reinkers or some inks that you like. Um, there are quite a few ink pads that are uh, ink colors that are going away. Let me just briefly um, let you know. So, of course, the ink colors are gone, going away. Um, so, I think I'm missing... Oh, I'm, yes, I'm missing the... Where's my, uh, there, pale papaya, there we go, there. So this is the ink color that is normally going away, but you'll notice one is not going away, and that would be the Fresh Freesia. Hi, Becky. 
So Fresh Freesia is not going away, and so all these four will be going. So if you love these colors, be sure to pick up the reinkers because there's going to be a new formulation with these ink pads, and it would not be very good to use the new reinkers on your old pads. So that's just something to remind you about. And just to kind of quickly go through all the colors that are going away, Blushing Bright in no particular order, Mint Macaron, Pacific Point, Rich Razzleberry, Pear Pizzazz. I'm going to be really sorry to see this go because this is such a bright little green color. Um, Sahara Sand, Mary Merlot, Soft Suede, So Saffron. I'm so surprised to see this go. As you can see, this is one of the old ink pads. It's been around for a while. Um, Mango Melody and Bermuda Bay. So these are the ones that we're going to say goodbye, and I'm packing them away as we speak. And uh, so if any of these colors resonate with you, um, definitely grab the, um, go online or let me know and I will order it for you. And um, so those are going away. Okay, so goodbye ink pads. So let's get started. Um, so yes, this is the card that we're making today. Okay, that's how it looks. And it kind of has a basket theme to it, um, weaving. Again, it's not so much a quick card, but once you know how to make it, it can be quick, quite quick. And uh, it's just a really nice um, card for all your um, foliage or floral stamp sets that I know we all have a lot. So let's get started. So first, for this to reproduce this card, you will need a four inches by 11 and a half card stock, okay? So, and then, let me grab my trimmer here. So let me put this to the side. Oops. Okay, so then we're going to score at five and a half. Okay. And once that's done, then we're, we're going to cut three quarters of an inch strips to make these. Okay, these are three and a quarters. Okay, so let's get going. So three and a quarter. Oops, let me. Okay, that's one. Three and a quarter. Anyway, three and a quarter. And three and a quarter. And the last one is going to, you're going to snip off just a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, I hope, ah, see, it's not going to stay on. Oh, uh, you know what? I am going to get myself a washi tape to hold it down. I mean, it will move when I'm on camera. It just, it's Murphy's Law, right? When I am doing something online, nothing, oh wait, where's the edge to this? See, when you're online, nothing seems to work. Huh, where's my, do I have another one? Okay, here, I've got this one, this should go. Cause I don't want to get a crooked. Okay, so three quarters. So there we go. So three quarters. Stay. Okay, there we go. All right. And so this little one you just throw away. Okay. Well, knowing you guys, you're not going to throw it away. So, because we are, we keep every little thing, don't we? Okay. So we've got these. So we've got five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And then... We're gonna build it. So these are quarter inch strips. I have already <clears throat> cut them out already because you don't need to see me cut these strips. These are four, uh, four and a quarter by a quarter inch, okay? So this is what we're going to weave in between. Yes, I know, I'm glad you understand, Lynn, Lynette. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, this is how I do it. 
So I am going to use my glue. Okay. Tombow glue works well because it gives you time to reposition. So I'm going to dab a little. Hey, as I said, this is a new glue and it's just gushing out. So the first one's easy because you just kind of lay it on here. So I use this just to make sure that it's straight. Okay, and then on the other side, So there, so it is, this is the first step, okay? And then you're gonna do the back. Uh, let's see, let me, I have this camera right between me and the workspace. So it's been kind of interesting how to maneuver that without shocking the whole thing into collapsing. Okay, so there and there. So that is your very first step, okay? And then you're going to put the rest on. So what I like to do is just to make sure that I'm, you know, all square away, is I like to start with the middle one first. Okay, so let's see. So this is the middle right and then ooh, so middle well it doesn't really matter right now so let me just put these in so i know it's spaced out fine because because i've done this before so i know it's going to space out fine okay let me move this in here there we go so let's see, so I just want to make sure it's even. So that's why I have the grit paper in front of me. So let me just eyeball it, making sure that they're all lined up evenly. As I said, I mean, it sounds like it's complicated, but it really isn't. Um, okay, let me, there we go. There, how does it look? I think it looks okay now, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my um, big blocks here to kind of keep it in place, okay? I think this one is a little bit crooked. There we go. And then we're gonna glue it, okay? So. So as I said, I wish I was able to pipe in some music while I'm doing this. I'm not really very talkative because when I work on my projects, I'm actually pretty silent. So I don't know if you're going to have questions. Let's see. Yes, I am going to backstage. Are you Lynn, Lynette? Hope to see you there. Um, okay, so there. So that's the first part. And then I'm going to turn around and glue the back now. Okay. So in it goes. Sometimes if it doesn't work out, you just kind of trim it a bit because it's no big deal. And honestly, handmade things, it's expected to have a little crookedness. It's okay. Okay. And this is probably, to me, the hardest part because you wanna make sure all of, that's it, okay? Oh, great, Lynette, I hope to see you there. Yes, we'll be there. In fact, um, my daughter will be coming with me. Um, so we're trying to make it a mother-daughter trip to Vegas. And I told her that she can choose a concert, oops, if she wanted to. Anyway, cause you know, we're not gonna gamble, right? Uh, okay, there. So then the fun part starts is we're going to weave the basket now. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to start. So to me, once I have this part here, I'm going to go like this, okay? But you can start any way you want. So there's one. And you just alternate it. So in, out, in, out. See how simple it is? I was doing this while I'm watching my Chinese drama. Okay, so it's perfect. Because it doesn't require much thought. You're just weaving it in and out. See? And... Uh, so in and out. There we go. Of course, it's up to you how wide you want to um, um, arrange this. Yes, definitely, Lynette. We'll have to meet up for sure. Um, we sh I don't know. Are you going in there early? Because I think I am arriving Thursday um, to Vegas. So anyway, okay. So there. So one more to go. And this one is an inner one. There we go. Okay. There we go. That wasn't too hard, was it? And so then the way I glue it is very simple. Let's just make sure that it's aligned. And I just kind of go like this and it's glued. You just need the two edges and that's all. Okay, whoops. I lied, it didn't stay. Okay, and the other way just making sure that it didn't shift. So a little glue here. And make sure that it's in the camera range. Okay, and then I'm gonna open it up and glue the inside strips. Oopsie, pulled it out. There we go. Okay, this one kind of shifted. Okay, so let me go the other way. And this is basically the structure of this card. And then what I would do is, let me go find, I had cut a piece of white paper. Oh, there you go. So this is a piece about three inches, I think. Is it three inches? Yeah. Oh, this is four. Oh, there we go. There. So to put it in here for you to write your greetings. It's not meant for you to like write a long essay in this type of a card. It's basically just a quick note. Um, so um, basically the height of this depends on how you design this. So I am, so with this one, I kind of eyeballed it and say, oh, okay, so that would cover that. So, and then now all you need to do is just add your florals on here. Now this particular set, the Happiness Bounds, is going away. I mean, how could it be? It just seemed like yesterday that we had our open house and we had this as a project. Um, so this is going away. But although the stamp set is not um, discounted, the dies that will allow you to cut out the paper is 60% off. So the stamp set's 23. The dies are now 1280. You still come out ahead, you know, the bundle price, you don't want to do the bundle price for this one. You want to order it separately. And of course, the paper is to die for. So, um, yeah, so why not? This is a great set to have. I'm sorry to see it go, but um, there'll be better and brighter things coming up. So this is the card, okay? And let me show you some other cards that I made with that. So here's another one. Oopsie. There we go. So this is another card, 
And if you notice the difference is I rounded the corner for this one, okay? What do you think? Do you like it rounded or not rounded? I thought this made it look more like a basket. Um, but anyway, so this is another set that is going away. This is the art gallery set. And my goodness, I need to tell you the deal. This stamp set is 60% off and it's only $8.80. And the dies are also discounted and it's $13.60. So total $22.40. It is the best deal. Even if you don't get the dies, I don't have the dies. And I was wondering, why did I not get the dies? And I realized why, because I purposely got the set because I wanted these greetings. Why do I like these greetings? I mean, they are perfect for all these little, I mean, I'm sure we all have this, right? All these cutoffs, these scraps. They are perfect size for these quarter inch, three quarters inch strips that you, you, you know, you have leftovers from what you're making. These are perfect, okay? And this is perfect for these type of cards because of the, um, what do you call it? <coughs> Sorry, horizontal thin greeting, right? So that's why if you are loving this type of a um, card, let me show you, um, where did the other one go? See, if you love making these cards, this particular stamp set with these type of greetings are perfect for it. It fits perfectly within these, um, these pieces, right? So that's also from the art gallery, okay? And so there we go. Yes, they're so simple, they're easy, and it's just perfect um, for a little note, okay? And, uh, and it channels, I always say it channels my, uh, my florist wannabe in me that, you know, arranging these flowers. And you know, once you start making one, you can also make it this way, see? What do you think? Do you like it horizontal or do you like it vertical? Again, these are similar, it's just, it's a little bit more spaced out, but the principle works the same, okay? You're weaving in and out, okay? Cute. I just love this stamp set. It just gives it a really nice washed look, um, watercolor look. So there, what's this doing here? So those are the cards. And uh, do I have another sample? I think that's it. But I just wanted to share with you this new card that I am loving, and I have made quite a bunch of them. And it really goes by fast. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it goes by really fast. Okay, so again, so this is how the structure looks like, okay, and um, yeah, so this is the card. So again, do not miss out on this Last Chance products. If you don't have a list, if you're not already on my email list, be sure to message me and I will send you a copy of it because things are going really fast. I wanted to share, use this on another stamp set, but that stamp set was is already gone. So right now I believe this is still available and this is a perfect set for even new, for novice, new beginners because this two-step stamping gives you such great results and it has a matching die. And the total is like what? Uh, where's my cheat notes? Yeah, see, here's my cheat notes. See, the stamp set's only 880, dies are 1360, 2240. So for less than $25, you can make it a great gift for yourself or for somebody, okay? And again, these greetings, these sentiments are perfect for all these little strips of paper that you have leftovers from um, making stuff, right? Okay, so that's all for today. It's kind of a short day, um, but I wanted to share this with you because true to what I always say, I'm, I wanna share with you something that I'm working on and this is something that I am working on and that I am intrigued. Um, before I let you guys go, I do want to remind you that today, well actually for Guam, tomorrow is the last day to um, sign up for the paper pumpkin kit. 
And uh, so don't miss out on this paper pumpkin kit because there's a new one coming out. And um, the thing I wanted to point out is there will be a price increase starting next month. So whether you are a current subscriber or you've been on the fence and you've been thinking about it, well, uh, uh, delay no more because the price will be increasing. And one way to lock in the rates, the low rates right now, is to purchase a prepaid paper pumpkin subscription. And that way you'll lock in the old rates and um, enjoy the subscription because there are better kits coming every month. Every month I say, oh, how can they top it? They do, they keep topping it. So this is one, and this one, comes with a free box organizer. It's a great way to um, organize, um, especially your stamp and spots. So don't miss this. It's uh, twenty three fifty. Uh, next month it'll be twenty four fifty. But again, to lock in the rates, make sure you purchase a prepaid paper pumpkin. Um, let me know, and I can order that for you. Um, that way you can save some shipping because it's eleven percent, or it's. Um, or $7.95, whichever is higher. So anyway, so for those of you who are purchasing a prepaid subscription um, this week, um, let me know because I am um, paying the, I wanted to um, do free shipping for you for this one. So that way you can really lock in the best rate, okay? So if you're interested, let me know and we will get that squared away for you. Let me see what else. Oh. So again, this Saturday is my class, and these are the cards that we'll be making. Sorry for the, these are the cards we'll be making. We'll be learning how to make this, and we're playing with this particular Tropical Leaves set. And May 6th, if you're interested in making these kind of cards, May 6th, I will be doing a class on this. So you will make this because it's kind of, it would get a little bit involved. It will only be two cards. So $20 for two cards. And then May 13th is um, the new catalog open house. So be sure to pencil that in. I will have details um, forthcoming, but you guys are the first to know about these dates. So if you're interested, be sure to block out your calendar and join me on May 13 for the Catalog Open House. It's gonna be wonderful. And for those of you who have been to them, you know how much fun it is. It's just great. Fellowshipping with all you know like-minded crafters. So again, May 6 is the class that you'll make this. Uh, this Saturday is the class that you'll be making these. And May 13 is the Catalog Open House. That's a lot of things happening this 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 month and next month. So don't miss out and I hope to see you there. Um, thanks, Becky. Thank you. Um, yeah, I have fun making these cards and uh, I wanted to share these with you. All right, if, let me see if there's any more questions. Um, you're always welcome to message me if you have any questions, especially those of you who are watching this on replay. Um, definitely, definitely Drop me a message and I will answer ASAP. Okay, well, thank you again for joining me today. Um, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know um, that you're watching. And for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, thank you. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you are informed of my new videos every time I load it up. All right, thank you again. And uh, I hope to see some of you this Sunday at my um, class. Um, if not, then I'll see you in the other class. So thank you again. Bye-bye.